good morning uh, everybody well today we travel to America to start our annual storm chasing Phil's coming uh, with us as well and he just parked in next door's driveway which I had to tell him to move so uh, we don't want to upset the neighbors by having some strangers car in their driveway anyway moving on today's a travel day Need to see one, whether or not I can get on the plane. Two, whether or not I've got a ticket because it appears I can't check in online. So good old British Airways. I'm not best pleased at the moment. Good morning, Phil. Morning. Morning. At least he's he's checked in, unlike me. So, oh, yeah. uh, so we're gonna see what happens. Um, it is what it is. So, It'll be fun, whatever. Yes, as long as I get to the States, that's all that matters. <laughs> so, um, yeah, first things first though, we got to walk the dog. Ah. Well, here we are. The lift to um, Gatwick. So, off we go. Off we go to Terminal 3 at Heathrow Airport. Rod's got special measures. Dave's checked in. I should have read them years ago. Yeah. Phil's uh, checked in. I'm the only one that can't check in, and um, well, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens on that one. But uh, Dave reckons I've got an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, really. Mm, exactly. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Fucking postcode, Phil. Hmm. Now you have got previous for forgetting certain things. Have you got it? <laughs> Well done, Phil. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It, it was always exactly where I left it when I left it for France. Well, yeah, Belgium. Yeah, but you actually left it I there. I did. And didn't I take did. it with you. No, no, I did. I've now got a photograph of it on my phone, just in case. Excellent. And hopefully, I can fly with the boys to America today. So, just off the uh, bus. Let's take it from there. Well, they told me to go in the queue. Well, I got through. There's my ticket. I get allocated at the gate. So either premium economy or fingers crossed. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. No. We know it ain't going to happen. Or business, but it's not going to happen. So be in the hold or the yeah. jump seat. So, um, yeah, I'm on the plane, which is the, is, which is the main thing, because they've gone and oversold uh, premium economy. So... Let's get through security and get a drink, have something to eat, and take it from there. Right, through security, now I'm going to find Dave, he's by the Sunglasses Hut, and um, Phil's quick pit stop, and then Rod should be turning up a little later. Goes without saying, if you're going to walk through duty free and you're a whiskey lover like me, you stop at the whiskeys and um, try a few drams. Nice um, drops there, Monkey Shoulder and Shackleton whiskies. Both blends, but really smooth on the throat. So, yeah, can't buy any because I'm traveling to Denver and we're in Holdalls and I don't want to break any bottles. So it's a no-no. Best check out tobacco for my mate in and see what the prices are. I think they're going to be extortionate. Darling, let's drink whiskey One together. Yes, let's. There's the world of whiskey, shall we? The whiskey. Splendid. <laughs> so this uh, new toy actually works that Dave gave me, and I'm at a bit of a distance, so yeah. <laughs> Why is it everyone always waves when you point the camera in their face? Why? a large number of chins. This is quite awesome. So, gate 36, aircraft's ready to board, which means we're gonna hang around there for about half an hour. But this is where we find out whether or not we, our contacts have actually come out with anything. Um, and whether or not- I'm banking on anything at the moment. Or whether or not I am uh, sitting right in the very back in the toilets. <laughs> No, it's actually happening, which we is are, quite nice. Yeah. I can I can relax now. 
at least until that start weather forecast. Yeah. yeah. That's what I see there. So, I need to put some context in what's happened. I couldn't book in, so it was clear that everyone had booked in for premium economy, they'd all paid for their seats. And because I hadn't, because I was a bit of a tight ass, it meant that when it came to doing an online check-in, I couldn't, because all the seats had been taken. So, what happened was, I had to wait to get to the gate itself to be allocated a seat. Someone either didn't show or they upgraded themselves, and that meant that I got a seat in premium economy, which meant I had to wait to the very last minute. You know, they could have upgraded me, it would have been nice, but it didn't happen. So, meanwhile, Phil Moss is sitting in business class, and smug as a mug he is, and who can blame him? Dave, tell me about Phil. That what? Tell me about Phil. Phil, he's a slime bag. He's a complete and utter <laughs> slime bag. And he's looking just all too comfortable. And he, he, he deserves to have his privileges taken away. And Dave is well hanged off with it as well. And who can blame him? So, poor old Rod sitting right at the very back. God knows what he's... Um, putting up with but you know it is what it is so we're enjoying the seat the cabin is a refurbished one really nice much better than last year I did have my fears about it but it's good touch screen comfortable seat and the movies are quite good as well so I'm not going to complain at all so all in all a good flight and a nice move to start off with so good um, score for me at the moment Yourself to a little snack. I would be doing that anyway, mate. Oh, yeah, oh, nice. Oh, you get that in premium economy. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. Yeah, but you go off to your flat bed. I, I think I will. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Bye. this way. Bye. 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 Arrived Denver safe and well. Good view of the Rockies as we came in. Quite an empty um, airport at the moment, but uh, yeah, very efficient at moving us from one place to another. So, yeah, all good. Well, we're in our beast. Yeah. Very nice uh, captain's chairs in the back. We have our class one driver behind the wheel, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> but mind you, he has had plenty of rest, the tosser. Um, not saying it's Phil Moss on his life lap bed, but uh, yeah, we should be all right on that one. Now we just need to get where we need to go. Well, we got to La Quinta, which uh, through us a bit because it wasn't really signposted it said quality in as up on the sign over there but these are the rooms we're in typical motel as people would imagine it in America but um, we'll be fine somewhere to put our head down we'll probably pop off to our favorite shop tonight and uh, you'll hear about that a little bit later on but uh, I will show you the room shortly so our room for the night actually it's not bad is it for where we are not big a problem enough. at all big enough two double beds dolly nice mm. mirror i can uh, speak to let's see bathroom yeah that's fine lights absolutely fine shower room yeah this is good isn't it it's bloody good and it will suit us down to the ground. It's not quite as good as business class though. I know, I know. We're back again. Walmart. Now Walmart, if you're watching this video, please 
give us a call you can sponsor us and uh, we'll plug you all the time so you know we're, open, we're I'm open to offers who knows they might they might not rather like my upgrade it ain't gonna happen well I'm gonna call it a wrap now listen to the stranglers Phil's been out for a run it's about five o'clock in the morning I'm having a few beers but it's been a great journey here managed to get here tomorrow is a morning darling or often yeah it is morning actually really well, for us well, yeah yeah says it's five yeah. o'clock in the morning yeah um <laughs> tomorrow we see what happens predictions aren't great but the weekend is got a lot of promise so please stay with us bear with us um subscribe and like and ding dong that bell and uh, see what we get up to for middle-aged guys who really are sort of just on a road trip speak to you soon <laughs>